फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू ड्राइव द फॉर्मूला फॉर ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब प्लीज ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द फॉर्मूला ऑफ ए क्यूब प्लस बी क्यूब एंड ए प्लस बी ब्रैकेट क्यूब दिस टू आर नॉट सेम फॉर्मूले दे आर टोटली डिफरेंट एंड यू कैन वेरीफाई इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूज योर कैलकुलेटर दिस टाइम आई एम अलाउिंग यू Use the calculator to find out the answer such as fifty plus two, which is equals to fifty two cube. Okay, find out fifty two cube by calculator and fifty cube plus two cube. According to board math, we will find this cube first, then this cube, and we'll do the addition. And you will easily come to know that fifty cube plus two cube is not equals to fifty plus two cube. So there is a difference between a cube plus b cube and a plus b bracket cube. Now we have to derive the new formula for for a cube plus b cube. Students, what's our style of derivation? Normally we use old formula which we know, right? So in this case we know the formula of a plus b bracket cube. We will use this formula to derive this formula. Let's go for it. A plus b bracket cube is nothing but a cube plus three a square b plus three a b square plus b cube. Students, we are solving the problems of factorization. Please remember one thing: we have to solve the problem of factorization. Still, it is possible to find out common between at least two terms. Okay, students. So here, between this a cube and plus three a square b, it is possible to find out a common. But if we will take a common, this a cube will reduce into a square, which we don't want. We want this a cube. Plus b cube in the final answer, so we will keep this a cube plus b cube intact. We will not make any changes in it. So let's write them without changing a cube plus b cube as it is, right? So we can find out common between remaining terms. Remaining terms are plus three a square b plus three a b square. Common between coefficients three 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 is common. Plus three between variables a square and a, a will be common. Between variables b and b square, b will be common. Okay. Normally, what do we do after finding out common? We divide by that common to the terms from which we took the common factor. So this three a square b we have to divide by three a b. Three three will cut a square a. A square divided by a answer is equals to a. And b b will cut. See in the rough area. This is the rough area now. Three a square b divided by three into a into b three a b three three a a b b cut. What is remain? Only a. Similarly, if we we'll divide this three a b square three into a into b square is b into b by three into a into b. Three three a a b b will cut only b will remain, so here it will remain plus b. Okay, students, got it. So we first wrote the formula for a plus b cube. Second, we arranged a cube plus b cube together because we want their formula. Then we found out common between remaining terms because we are doing factorization. Hence, it is mandatory to find out common. Okay, please remember we have to do the factorization unless and until it is possible to find out common between at least two terms, and it is possible to apply Bordmas rule for each and every bracket. Okay, that we will see as it will come in the example. Now we have to find out formula for a cube plus b cube. So those two terms we will keep on one side, and remaining part will will shift on the another side. So this plus three ab into a plus b after changing its side, this plus three ab will change into minus three ab. So it will be a plus b cube 
minus 3ab into a plus b right which is nothing but a cube plus b cube now students you may have doubt sir sin of this plus 3ab is changed so why doesn't this multiplying 3ab is not changed into minus uh, dividing 3ab because students plus 3ab into a into b is totally one term it is a monomial it is like one number and we are shifting that one number only on the another side okay after changing the side once again scan the example from left to right and see whether it is possible to find out anything common because in the factorization we have to solve unless and until it is possible to find out anything common between two expressions first term is a plus b bracket cube total one term enclosed within the bracket second term minus 3ab into a plus b this total one monomial one term so among these two can we find out a plus b common yes a plus b is common between these two terms so let's take a plus b common out of the bracket okay now if we will divide this a plus b cube by a plus b it will be nothing but a plus b square now two brackets will be same see a plus b cube divided by a plus b students i hope all of you know a raised to m divided by a raised to n is equals to a raised to m minus n here a is same base base which is same so similarly here a plus b raised to 3 divided by a plus b raised to 1 base is same a plus b a plus b right and we have to subtract the indices a plus b raised to 3 minus 1 which is equals to 2 hence our answer is a plus b square in the second bracket as the term it contains two variables so hence we are enclosing it within the bracket so these two brackets will look same hence we will just change the style of this bracket we will write it as square bracket minus 3ab into a plus b divided by a plus b it will be nothing but minus 3ab which is nothing but a cube plus b cube students i hope you go, got here that minus 3ab into a plus b is nothing but multiplied by a plus b which is we are dividing by a plus b so automatically this same term or number in the numerator and denominator will change only minus 3 we will remain which is remain here so a plus b multiplied by a plus b bracket square minus 3 ab is equals to a cube plus b cube is our answer of this second step now look at the this step a plus b into the second bracket once again in the bracket a plus b bracket square minus 3 ab which is nothing but a cube plus b cube students in the first bracket both of the terms are unlike in the circuit second bracket there is bracket within bracket means we can apply air board mass okay so according to board mass we can expand this a plus b bracket square is it possible to expand it yes because there is a formula for a plus b bracket square that formula is nothing but a square plus 2ab plus b square right so that we have expanded and remaining thing which we haven't changed let's write them as it is minus 3ab we haven't changed this a plus b bracket we haven't changed which is equals to a cube plus b cube while solving problems of factorization if there are brackets apply board mass on each and every bracket and see whether it is possible to find out anything common or not okay these two things we have to consider on each and every step in the first bracket a plus b addition subtraction is not possible in the second bracket a square is alone and unlike plus 2ab there is one like term of plus 2ab that is minus 3ab so its addition subtraction is possible which we have to do according to board mass plus b square is alone and unlike so let's keep it as it is so our answer will be a plus b into second bracket a square plus 2ab minus 3ab is nothing but minus 1ab this plus b square as it is which is nothing but a cube plus b cube now 
addition subtraction of any term in first bracket and second bracket is not possible applying board mass is not possible taking common between these two brackets is also not possible here is a plus b in the first bracket in second bracket there is not a plus b there is a square plus b square so all of the terms are unlike hence it is our final answer now this is our final answer but why are we struggling for we are looking for the formula of a cube plus b cube which we found so let's write it in the formula style let's write the original formula on the left hand side and expansion on the right hand side because while writing any formula we write the formula on left so let's write the formula a cube plus b cube on the left which is equals to on the right hand side right is expansion which is nothing but a plus b into a square minus a b plus b square thank you very much for watching the video till the end i hope you have understood concept explained in this video you might have learned something new through this video friends if you have liked the video please hit the like button and if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon so every time i will upload a new video you will get the notifications about it and you will not miss any of the concept of this simple subject thank you very much